Yeah, I think uh, the point we, we, we did with that and why we wanted to, um, A, talk about vulnerability and then uh, show those videos is what's going to happen when you get older, as you go up the, the levels? You, you, you're going to be challenged all the time. That's inevitable. And it's not just in cricket, it's in life. So, um, you know, you can get to my age and you're still, you're still getting challenged with, with lots of different things. So what we're trying to kind of get across to you guys is it's okay to to feel have these feelings and and all of you will have really similar feelings it's normal and the best players the ones that actually deal with it they they take on that challenge um you know i i can always remember i got to a point in my career where as an opening batsman i almost wanted to turn up and see the wicket green i wanted it to be hard work because that was the opportunity for me to stand out because if it was flat everyone would get runs but I was I was turning up going I hope it's green because I want to be the you know the guy because I thought that I could do better in those situations so it's about trying to um, get yourself into the mindset uh, and we're going to try and help you with that about okay we're going to have challenges ahead um, but we're going to be ready for it because I can guarantee I've been working with you know a lot of you guys um, the best players are the ones who are prepared for the challenges. That's all it is. They're, they're ready. The ones who, who, who aren't, they, they'll fall away quickly. So, um, and why Tom and I have been talking about uh, doing this, this course. Yeah, nice. So, boys, now I think it's important for, for you guys to, this is an important exercise for each of you, but for Buck and I and all of you to share it. We want to know, and this wasn't on your pre-work, we want to know why you're doing this. What's your purpose? What, what is your why for doing this? Anyone want to start? You put on the spot here, but it should be something, I guess, that you, you, you know or you can answer. Maybe you've thought about it, maybe you haven't, but what is your why? I think um, for me, um, to be honest, I think in recent years, I've only thought about the physical and technical part of the game. Like, I've tried to work really hard on that, but, like, the mental, like, I've always been told you've got to work on your mental, but, like, I never had, like, a strategy or a plan in place. Like, how do I do that? Or what things I can do to improve that? Like, I think working with Buck last year, that probably kick-started a bit of a thought pattern with me, like, about routines, mental routines, things like that. So, I think for me, I feel like my mental me mentally developing is going to help me perform out, out in the middle and give me consist, like a consistent platform which I can trust and a process instead of being up and down. So just being more as consistent as I can really. Yeah. Nice. Nice, mate. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think for me, like, there's a lot of, obviously there's a lot of good, good players in this, um, in this call and just seeing how people go about their business and, what people do differently to me and like sort of I can put over the next um, next few weeks pick people's brains and see what they do and hopefully implement that into to like the way I, I go about it. Awesome. Who else? Yeah, I'll go. Um, I think probably it was kind of when it came up just about trying to make the most of every opportunity you get given. I got a lot of resources in this chat and a lot of different opinions so um when i kind of got offered or thought about it or found it i was it was a no-brainer just because i think the you don't have to listen to everyone and whatever they say but having different resources that you can filter out is probably yeah the biggest thing to why i'm here is just getting other people's opinions um and seeing what i can do with them in and bring them into my own words and like do them my way. So. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think obviously I want to become the best cricketer I can be, but I think probably just I always like to sort of challenge myself a bit and I don't like to just like take weeks off and just not do anything. I always like to be doing something or trying to improve in some way. So I think other than cricket, just trying to like learn new things I guess and not just cricket but just any part of life I guess yeah good nice Carter I think for me obviously I want to like be the best I can be 
Um, I haven't like really had many like opportunities to like talk to other players and talk about the game really, because like I want to develop my mental game because that's probably a weakness for me. I reckon not so much the like physical side of it. Yeah, so just the like ability to talk talk about the game. Yeah, awesome, awesome boys. Some excellent answers there, and. and Absolutely no right or wrong answer. You're all here for a different reason, but we're, we've got no doubt it's a similar-ish reason. You're all sort of wanting to be better. You're all wanting to learn. And, and the mental side of the game is something that is not spoken about much. It's not coached much. And often young players are left to figure things out for themselves. I know when I look back on my career, I, I worked really hard at my physical skills and my technique, and I thought I was doing all the things I should be doing or could be doing, but when it came to actual performing on the big stage, I didn't have this, the tools to, to be able to control my, my thoughts and my emotions. I didn't have the understanding or the awareness of how to do that. And so and I've shared an article, I've written an article on, that, on our website about um, not being able to sleep the night before my debut at Lords, And it was a horrible feeling driving into the ground 45 minutes from out of London into Lords excited for my debut, playing against that Bangladesh. I had 30 friends and family coming to watch and I couldn't keep my eyes open in the passenger seat. And I was sitting on the balcony waiting to bat next in. I couldn't keep my eyes open because I was so tired because the night before I couldn't let my mind couldn't switch off. My emotions were just running and I just didn't understand it. So I'm now really passionate about helping young guys like you who are aspiring cricketers who are really keen to be the best you can be. I'm passionate about giving you some sort of the tools and the resources to be able to learn from my experience and other people like like Buck who was able to handle those things and do it so well for many years. Give you guys the opportunity to not just sort of learn from us but learn from each other, learn from each other. Like you've all said, you're all going through this very similar thing. So there's such an opportunity. And I think what you said there, Carter, just to talk about the game, talk about yourself and what you're going through because you don't really get that. You go to training, how are you, mate? We have a net session. All right, see you on the weekend. You might have a few WhatsApp talking about banter, but when do you ever really sit down and talk about the game or about performance or about batting or about anything? I don't think it happens very often. And all the old boys sort of even before sort of way before Buck's generation and, and whatever, they talk about they talk about how they used to just sit and have a beer and chat for hours. And that's where they were the best learning environment. So we're trying to help you guys unlock a few different thought processes and understand yourselves a bit better and what others are going through. Anything to add there, Buck? Yep. I think um, you covered a lot of it really well there, boys. We'll be going a bit deeper into things like routines and mental skills and stuff like that in the in the weeks to come. This week it is a lot about um, just the behaviours that the how you set yourself up to to do those kind of things. Okay, so um, yeah, if, if the 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 real um, skills like you talked about, I think um, Yash, you know, developing your mental skills. Um, things like that. We'll, we'll get stuck into them. Um, so just be ready for them as well, I think. Yeah, but something that something that I'm huge on is that anyone in my programs, anyone I have anything to do with, I want them to be, and, and Buck is exactly the same. I speak for both of us here. We want them to be good people. We want you guys to have a, like, be a good person who's a good cricketer as well, not a great cricketer and a shit bloke because you're, you're a person who plays cricket. We, we label ourselves as a cricketer, but you're a person who plays cricket and cricket is only one part of your life and it's only a part of your life for a small amount of time because once you're 35 or, be, or even earlier, you stop playing and you're still, a, you're still a, a normal person who has to live their life. So we really want to instill good behaviours and good traits and habits and encourage you guys to adopt them that isn't just related to hitting a good cover drive or but you can just stand at the top of your mark feeling confident, feeling in control of yourself. But you can also walk into a room and feel confident in yourself. You can, you've got good manners. You're a good person that people like being around. And that's something that we're both really, really sort of passionate about. Um, and that's why this first session is laying the platform around those sort of behaviours and those things to then dive deeper in future sessions around mental skills like Buck was talking about.